two ways that we can make the distance that A has to travel longer than the distance that B has to travel, thus meaning that A has to go faster if we want them to start at the same time and end at the same time. One, the first way is to add an angle of attack, and the second is to put in a camber. Now, here we have our airfoil, which is in line with the air. Now, if we add an angle to it, we now have an angle of attack. Now, due to the angle of attack, person A now has a lot longer to travel. So if you want person A and person B to start at the same time and end at the same time, person A would have to travel a lot faster than person B. The other method is to take the symmetrical airfoil and add camber to it so it's no longer symmetrical. Due to the fact that it is not symmetrical anymore, person A and person B would have to travel different distances. In this case, person A has to travel faster than person B if we want them to start at the same time and end at the same time. So, now that you know that, let's exchange people, person A and B, with air particles in which the air particles on top have to go faster than the air particles on bottom. So now, you know how that works. Goodbye!